Hello friends and welcome to Tony's Reviews. Today we're going to be checking out another As Seen on TV product. You can see it right there, the symbol. This is the Quick Card Wallet. It's a wallet that uh, not only holds cash, but it also holds, holds cards and they will cascade out in a spring-loaded action. Uh, it also protects against RFID, so there you have it right there on the front. So it offers that protection and it's also this cool wallet that springs out your cards. The only thing I can tell so far from outside the package that might be a hindrance to me is that it is a little bit wide. But today we're to check this wallet out and see how it performs. Hey, if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, please hit the subscribe button. It doesn't cost a thing, it'll help me out tremendously. But hey, if you do want to spend some money, please hit the thanks button. That will help support my channel. You can find these on Amazon right now for under $15. There will be an Amazon link in the description of this video and also one of the comments if you want to check one of these out after the video. When I saw this product in the store, I thought, that sounds really cool. We're going to find out if this thing's more James Bond or more Austin Powers. So folks, I'm going to open this baby up and we're going to check this wallet out and see how it performs. Thank goodness it's got a perforated back on here, so we're able to open this up. Got a set of instructions in here. I will not be looking at those. Okay, so we've got the wallet out now. We can all check that out together. And this part right here feels like kind of like standard, you know, plastic or latex material. And we've got a little snap here. And we see we've got, looks like a place here. So you can store cash or whatever you want to in these two little pockets. And then we've got slots here and somehow we're going to be putting cards in there. So there's a, there's a spring loaded in there it says and we're going to be putting cards in there and we're going to see how this thing you know holds these cards and see how they pop out. Okay so I might have to eat a little crow because I'm not sure exactly how this thing works. Okay, so after reading the instructions, it sounds like this thing is pretty easy to use. So all I'm going to be doing is actually inserting cards into here. And there's some levers back here, right here. And these are what this is, these levers are these levers are what release the cards out of here. So I think they all come out at once. So you're able to load six in each chamber here. It does say that metal cards, I know a lot of people have those modern metal cards. It says they may be too heavy for this thing. So we're going to load up six cards in one of these chambers and we're going to see how this thing works. Okay, I've got six cards in there now. We're gonna see how this works. So I'm gonna push the button right. I'm gonna push the button right here. I'm gonna push the spring-loaded button right here. All right, so I'm gonna pull the lever. We're gonna see how these cards pop out. Okay, they popped out, and we can see that they're, you know, they're stair-stepped there on each other. Okay, so I took some time and messed around with this thing for a little bit. And from what I can tell is, you load this thing up from reading the instructions. You load this thing up by sliding the cards into here. Just kind of pushing them into this thing. You can kind of feel it, a little bit of pressure in there. You slide those in there. And then you just start sliding the cards in there, you know, on top of that. You can put up to six cards, it says. So we'll load this thing up. And then down here, you can also put another uh, six cards down here. Another one in. Three, four, five. Once you've got those loaded up, you're supposed to push this little lever right here, and the spring loaded action is supposed to make these things pop up. So let's do it. Okay, so that's what happens. Uh, you know, the packaging kind of looks like they're going to spring up real high so that you can see them like that. But they don't really look that way, you know, so not quite as high as it appears. And I've tried this a lot of different ways. I've um, stuck these in here from back to front, front to back, and this is about it. So that's about as high as they, they get. And I also tried putting them in the back here in this other chamber, but it's pretty much the same. Uh, you're only going to be, from what I can tell, you're only going to be pushing one of these chambers open at a time because they're not going to cascade up and then, you know, having both chambers open. I kind of thought you could have both chambers open and then you could kind of look through your cards and see which one you needed. But from what I can tell me playing around with this thing, it's just, you know, one at a time. So, uh, so there you have it. You're going to be able to just see your cards right there. You can differentiate color, but you know, you're going to have to dig through there. And for me, just playing around with this thing a little bit, the best thing I could tell to do would be to push down on the ones you don't want until you get to the one you want and then make your choice. This 
but as far as this having you know big extensions on it it just isn't there uh, you know like I said there is a couple of compartments in here for other stuff you know maybe a little change you know maybe put some dollars in there or maybe a different type of card you know something you know maybe you have another card that's not quite a credit card you need to store it in there and the big thing for me that I want to talk about is thickness this thing is pretty darn thick I normally carry this wallet right here which is pretty thin and this is the Asking on TV Slim wallet that has uh, the uh, RFID protection in it as well and here's this big boy little pocket test this is that big boy in my pocket here's the slim wallet here's that slim wallet and that's completely loaded with all my IDs and all that kind of stuff cards and such so you can see that's a little bit thinner okay I did a sit test with this in my back pocket and it felt like uh, that I had like a brick in my back pocket or something this thing was extremely uncomfortable so this is no good for your back pocket if you're going to be sitting like in a, at a firm chair like a wooden chair at a dining room table or something this definitely didn't work out now this little slim wallet you barely even notice it and I don't think you would even notice it if you carry it in your pocket for long enough this thing right here you're never going to get this thing right here you're never going to get used to it it's just it's just too too bulky if you're somebody that enjoys pain while sitting in a firm chair this might be for you the only real positive thing i can say about this wallet is i think just in my opinion i think this thing will probably protect cards when they're in your pocket because there's really not a whole lot of room for damage because this thing is you know so sturdy it's like a hard plastic and it feels like there's maybe some metal in there so i just don't think you're gonna you know have to worry about your cards bending in your like they do in your back pocket maybe in a regular wallet and they get the cracks in them and stuff so maybe that is a positive about this but for me this thing is just a big no-go uh it's just too bulky too darn bulky i like a real thin wallet and this thing is just definitely this thing is definitely not for me so this often does it live up to what it shows on the package in my opinion it doesn't because you know the cards just kind of shot up and you can just kind of barely see them cascaded uh, probably I'm giving this to a friend or something because it's probably not something I'm gonna be using but if you still want to check one out there will be an Amazon link in the description of this video and also one of the comments and for the slim wallet as well you can see how much slimmer it is and I've actually done a product review on this wallet right here and I'll have a link to that down here in the description of this video if you want to check that one out also I have a link in the description of this video if you want to buy one of these wallets you know if this looks like it might be something for you or if this looks like it might be something for you you know you can check that one out as well if you feel like you got some good information out of this video today please hit the like button if you'd like to see some more of my product reviews please hit the subscribe button if you know anybody that might want one of these wallets or you want to tell them about it or warn them about it uh, please share this video out I want to thank you so much for tuning into Tony's reviews today and God bless you